Alrighty then, <clears throat> what you see in front of you is uh, the project I'm going to be working on. Um, in, I have a small shed and one of the things I want to do is um, I don't really want to run power to it. So I'm going to build a little, basically what I'm going to do is I want to uh, set it up to exhaust heat. Uh, during the summer and um, so what I'm going to do is install a couple of vents on it um, a solar panel a battery and a couple of fans and I'm going to and some parts that are still on order is a um, a switch that's normally open uh, it's a thermal switch and when the temperature gets to, I think, 95 degrees, the fans will turn on. Um, they'll run off the battery and or this 20 watt uh, solar cell. Um, and uh, the solar cell will charge the battery through this charger and also run the load. Um, all of this I got for not too high a price at off eBay but I'll go over that later okay uh, this is what I worked on today uh, building a bracket and mounting it uh, I've run the wire inside the shed, but uh, it's not connected to anything right now. And this is just a pole from the top of a, the top of a fence pole for a chain link fence, pounded into the ground, and a piece of pressure treated, treated lumber painted green, some aluminum I bent at a 45 degree angle. Uh, I chose 45 degrees. In the summer, the best angle is 48, and in the winter, it would be like 20 something, supposedly. Uh, so I just chose 45, it's kind of in the middle, and uh, this is mostly for a summer application. Um, next stop is uh, putting all the stuff together inside, okay? So I've got this mounted inside my little shed. Uh, it's connected to a small battery, a little seven amp hour battery. Should actually run the fans for like a whole day. Uh, this is the primary reason um, to help keep this cool. Uh, I do need to put a, a, uh, a vent down behind there. Uh, to let air in and this goes up to these two fans which are, will be covered on the outside later I'll do that later today after the paint dries and I have this which is a small uh, thermal switch normally open and it won't uh, turn on until the temperature in here gets to uh, I can't remember if it was 85 or 95 uh, but uh, anyways uh, I manually warmed up the uh, switch with the residual heat from a light bulb and as you can see the fans are on uh, they should probably uh, go off here in a second or two and this thing cools off. I'll just speed that up by touching it to this metal and getting the heat off of it. And there they go. Okay, so this is the back of the shed. Um, it's, uh, I had to, this was a, a larger piece. I actually had three sets of lures, but I realized I couldn't put it there with the ribs. So I had to cut the section, middle section out, drilled the holes, two holes, and then ran a bead of silicone 
around the inside of the uh, the louvers and then just use self-tapping screws okay so that's it uh, it's completed the covers are in place I painted up with some leftover green paint I found and um, we're good.